Welcome to BT Watch, your go-to destination for all things horology. Today, we're delving into the realm of luxury timepieces to discover the top five alternatives to the iconic Rolex Daytona. From timeless elegance to cutting-edge innovation, these watches offer exceptional craftsmanship and style without breaking the bank. Let's explore these exquisite alternatives together. The 50th Anniversary Limited Edition SRQ29 is part of a sub-collection comprising two watches, the other one celebrating the 55th anniversary of Japan and Seiko's first chronograph. Seiko's vision was more modern, cost-effective and focused on industrialization. In 1969, the Japanese brand launched the Caliber 6139, one of the world's first automatic chronographs, but also the world's first automatic chronograph with a column wheel and vertical clutch. Seiko, with this 6139, went for an integrated architecture where the chronograph parts are not added to an existing movement, but integrated into a single design. Also, the combination of a column wheel and a vertical clutch would later become the norm for high-end chronograph movements. But back in 1969, this was an important breakthrough delivering real improvement in precision. Other specifications included a 3D frequency, a diameter of 27.4 mm and a height of 6.5 mm, a centrally mounted automatic rotor with Seiko's innovative magic lever, a click winding system, and a 36 hour power reserve. It was later replaced by the improved caliber 6138, an evolution of this movement with 12 hour counter. In conclusion, the Seiko SRQ29 is a fine example of Seiko's ability to blend craftsmanship with functionality. The Tudor Black Bay Chronograph Gold is a luxurious and elegant timepiece produced by Tudor, a Swiss watch manufacturer known for its impeccable craftsmanship and classic designs. The case remains 41 mm large and is made from 316L stainless steel and yellow gold. The fixed bezel is yellow gold and has a matte black anodized aluminum insert with gold-plated markings. The crown and chronograph pushers are all yellow gold. Water resistance is unchanged at 200 meters. Tudor calls the dial sunray satin finished champagne with contrasting black registers. The contrast is certainly striking and legibility shouldn't be an issue. However, one gets the feeling that the bright gold dial might be too much for some folks. The movement within is the irreproachable caliber MT5000. 813. Developed in partnership with movement manufacturing specialist Kinesi, Tudor itself added a silicon balance spring and free-sprung adjustable mass balance. Crucially, it's a high-end integrated chronograph movement with a column wheel and vertical clutch. The beat rate is 4 8Z and the power reserve is 70 hours. Objectively speaking, like so many of Tudor's watches, this is a well-constructed, high-end automatic chronograph that you can easily wear every day. And if you like gold or champagne, then this is perfect for you. The B1 chronograph from Bradling is an underrated gem. I say this from my long experience searching for the perfect panda chronograph. I love panda chronos because it's a timeless design that looks great with a black suit. I tend to dress in mostly white and black so these watches get a good amount of wrist time for me. The Premier B1 Chronograph 42 is a breath of fresh air after a long series of rather bold and often confusing bradling chronographs like the Chronomat, Navitimer, and Super Avenger. With just two sub-dials, minimal dial text, and a 42mm case sizing that, at this day and age, we could call borderline safe or conservative. Any smaller and it would be too far off to vintage, any larger and it did too modern. The case proportions here are pretty ideal at 42mm wide and 13.65mm thick. The Premier hides its heft and thickness extremely well, thanks to that low case profile and the polished bezel that narrows quickly and in multiple steps. This is precisely the sort of stuff that one should absolutely expect from watches that cost not $4,000 and but double that. Manufacturing and finishing this bezel must be a pain compared an ordinary one. The lugs are cut off at a steep angle. Guy worked his magic at cutting these down to a length that makes the case wearable for those with smaller sized wrists. In conclusion, the Bradling Premier B1 stands as a testament to Bradling's legacy of crafting exceptional chronographs. The Omega Speedmaster, with its deep roots in space exploration and iconic status as the first watch on the moon, 
has long been a symbol of human perseverance and technological prowess. The reduced variant, introduced in the late 1980s, encapsulates the very essence of the Speedmaster lineage, but presents it in a more contemporary, compact size. This clever adaptation was a response to a growing audience seeking the heritage of the Speedmaster with the versatility of a daily wearer. Each aspect, from its detailed chromograph functionality to its distinct design elements, pays homage to its illustrious predecessor. Furthermore, its connections to the annals of space history imbue the piece with a narrative that few watches can match. Ideal for the modern watch aficionado who covets historical significance, yet desires a timepiece fitting for today's dynamic lifestyles, the Speedmaster Reduced is a testament to Omega's adaptability and commitment to horological excellence. The latest generation of the L Prime Row family of movements is the Caliber 3600 seen in this watch. A few changes to the L Prime Row movement design have granted Zenith access to an entirely new range of timing options. For the Caliber 3600, Zenith changed which wheels drive the movement and the chronograph. Now the chronograph is being driven directly by the escape wheel when running, and with the balance wheel oscillating at 5 hertz rather than the usual four. An innovative set of gearing ratios allows the Chronomaster Sport to measure one slash tenth of a second without the need for a second balance wheel and escapement assembly. Let's move on to the other half of this watch's contentious part, the case and the bracelet. The case measures 41 min diameter and 13.6 min thickness. It's a comfy size to wear and fitted my larger wrists well. I think this watch will fit both smaller and larger wrists than mine with relative ease. Even though the pushers stick out a little far, it's nothing to be concerned by. The case has had nearly every surface polished. Sometimes this doesn't work on a watch, and it makes it seem a little too conspicuous, but I think the black ceramic bezel is enough to break it up. Also, the lug's tops are brushed like the bracelet's external links, which works nicely. In conclusion, the Zenith L Prime Row Chronomaster is a masterpiece that encapsulates the brand's heritage and innovation. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the world of luxury timepieces. If you enjoyed learning about these exceptional alternatives to the Rolex Daytona, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to BT Watch for more insightful watch content. Until next time, happy watch hunting!